Welcome to episode 8 of Dreamwood Stables. Hi, you must be the new girl. Yeah, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. Um, so, uh, this today we're going to have your first lesson. What's my first lesson? Learn how to tack up your horse. Oh, I see that you've read my reports that I don't know how to tack up a horse. Yeah, I have. Um, okay, so let's get straight to it. So, over there's the tack room. Do we help you get tack from there? No, we're just learning how to tack. That's the jumping arena. It's kind of empty right now. There's uh, my twin sister, uh, Tracy, and she's just jumping spirit over the flower edge. Full stable. I knocked over a tree. Okay, I'm just kidding. Looks like some horses over there are enjoying some apples. Which horse do you think is yours? I know it's not that horse, because she's a little bit big for this bridle. And I know it's not that horse, because she has a bridle on. That one over there is too small. So it must be that horse. Very good. That's your first thing. Which horse is right for the tack? Okay. So, we've got you a simple bridle, because... The complex bridle is going to be in the next couple lessons. And this is your rented horse, but if you don't like this horse, you can spend about $2 and you can get the better horse. The new stallion that's coming. I can get the new stallion. Yep. So let's just tighten the girth. Do you know how to tighten girth? No, I need some help. Alright, let me show you. So you just kind of like slide it through this little hoopy thingy. Mm, yep. Yeah. Okay, I think I got it. Good. So that's your first... That, wait, you think it needs to be tightened more because it feels a little bit loose. Okay, there we go. Good job. You completed with your first lesson. Now you gotta put the bridle on. Okay. Just put the bridle on like that. Now you gotta tighten it around the nose. Don't forget the ears. I know, I know, I know. Um. There we go. Very good. Now just put get on the horse good so where about your horse oh let me go get her come on chestnut come here boy there you go oops sorry guys now I'm gonna put uh, his, his, oh, what is going on with his camera? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to put his bridle on. Wait, what about his saddle? Are you riding bareback? Yeah, I've rode for a lot of years. I can ride bareback. Okay, go on and put the saddle on, or the bridle, <laughs> and everything keeps falling. Put on the bridle. <laughs> so, this had to put on a more complex bridle. Just kind of. Let me get it over there. That. Whoa, that's a little bit hard for me. That's why I gave you the simple bridle. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, it totally does. And the bridle falling off. The bridle's falling off. Oh my gosh, it's just the 
thing that goes around its face. Give me a second, guys. Sorry! And this sometimes happens where, like, the ropey thing falls off. It's absolutely normal for the rope thing to fall off. Okay. So just wait a second while I put the ropey thing back on. Okay, I almost got it. I mess. And there. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. It's going to go back on. Okay, so I just have the quickest, quickest question ever, ever, because that is a pony bridle. Why is it going on a fully grown stallion? Um, because the pony bridle wouldn't fit the only pony around this horse. It wouldn't fit... The fall battle on there, so it's going on this way. <sighs> okay. Just wanted to know. Alright. Let's saddle, let's get on our horses. Alright. That is your first lesson. I think I'm going to like it here. You're kind of funny. Thank you. Thank you so very much. So that ends episode 8 of Dreamwood Stables. I know it was kind of crazy, but please like and subscribe down below. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye!